Hey guys, um, I just want to apologize for being all cute, and I certainly don't look cute. Oh, God, I love distracting. Anyway, um, how's it going? It's the second week. Um, I'm Andy, and uh, it's great to be back with y'all. So, yeah, um, I have been pretty much all over Texas, uh, the past, like, week. Um, I live near Dallas. I actually live right between Dallas and Texarkana, so I'm further northeast than Dallas. Um, but, yeah, I drove to Austin, and then I drove to, like, Kerrville, which is a really small town, um, two hours north, or southwest of Austin. I think it's Austin. Anyway, uh, and then I drove back to Austin, and then I drove to Houston, which is where I did my video with Austin, my boyfriend. Um, and then I stayed there until yesterday, and yesterday I drove to Austin, and hung out, and then today I drove to Kerrville again. And I'm going to be here for a week, and then I'm going to drive back to home, which is the one by Dallas. So I've been driving, like, freaking crazy. Um, anyway, like I said, I'm sorry I don't look cute. Um, I am an orientation leader for my university, and this week is um, orientation training week. So on Friday, um, we're going to have a lot, like a big group of the students come in, and um, we're going to orient them to the campus and all of that. Uh, and then I'll be headed home Monday. So next Monday's video is going to be kind of late as well, and I'm so sorry. Um, but don't worry, we will get regular just as soon as I actually get back home. Um, and when I go home on Monday, I'll be home until like July, and it's like a weekend. So it's not a big deal. Um, I'm eating gummy worms. I'm addicted to gummy anything. These little tubs of gummy bears. You can buy them at Walmart for a dollar. Are the best gummy candy I've ever had. I'm addicted. Anyway, uh, like I said, it's training week, so like all day today we've been the PAs have been training to get ready for the kids to get here. Um, so we showed up and we got really neat little bags and we got t-shirts and all of that sort of thing. Um, so that's really exciting. Uh, and now it's dinner time, but I'm in my room to record this really fast because I'm scared of the wrath of PSC. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but they had like an hour before the food was ready, so I came to record this really fast. Um, I'm not going to be able to touch on too much because, like I said, I'm kind of working in a hurry. Um, but I wanted to say that, um, I think my challenge is still for people to introduce us to someone that means a lot to them. Um, like, I would hope that you could, you know, get them on camera, maybe not tell them what it's for. Um, but that would be really great. Um, or I think also it would be, um, to tell me about just a really fun experience you had, um, uh, working with others. Um, that goes along with my orientation thing that's going on right now. Um, on Friday, I'm going to start, you know, talking to the incoming freshmen and asking them, you know, what their fears are and what they're worried about and all of that. Um, so it would be interesting to talk about a time when you actually had to, like, you know, do something like that. Um, I wanted to let you know that I went and saw Kung Fu Panda. It was an amazing movie, and I highly recommend it to, like, anyone. Um, you don't have to like pandas. Um, actually, my favorite character wasn't even the panda, it was the viper, um, so, yeah. Um, but while I was hanging out with Austin in the mall, um, we went by, uh, we were going through all the stores and all of that, and, um, there's something you have to know about Austin. Austin is in love with all things medieval, um, so... He plans on joining um, this company called SCA, and I don't know what it stands for, but it's basically like um, people who reenact medieval things. So they teach him about sword fighting, um, jousting, and all of that. So they're actually like in suits of armor, jousting each other on horseback. And um, then for the women, it teaches them how to, you know, make food from that time period and to brew your own beer and wine and all of that sort of thing. It's really interesting. Um, and I think they have a website, you can just search, Google search for, like, SCA. But anyway, so I always joke around and say that he's my knight in shining armor. Um, but, um, 
So while we were in the mall, uh, he surprised me by taking me to build a bear, and we built a bear. And um, so I got another panda <laughs> to add to my collection. Uh, and as you can see, he's dressed in like knight armor, and he has like a little cape and all of that. Um, but his shirt, his tunic, says knight in shining armor. Um, and he has a rose in one hand and his shield in the other. Um, he's pretty much the cutest thing ever. His hat's a little too big, so I usually don't have his hat on. And I just let him be panda at you. But, isn't he cute? Anyway, so this is my gift from Austin, and I love it. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention was um, I noticed that Farrell in her books, uh, or in her vlog started talking about favorite books. Um, and since I've been gone from home so long, I actually brought some of mine with me. And so I wanted to kind of share with you some of my favorites. Um, the first one that's amazing is called I'm Okay, You Are Dead. Um, it is a murder mystery for anyone who likes those. Um, it's just something really fun. Um, and it's a very, 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 very good uh, murder mystery. And um, it's also got a lot of comedy in it, humor. So that's good. Um, another one that's a little bit deeper uh, is called The Abortionist's Daughter. Um, like I said, it's obviously a lot more deep. Um, but it's, it's, it too is a murder mystery, but um, in a different sort of way. Um, I'm actually only about three quarters of the way done with it, but it's really amazing. I can't wait to find out how it ends. Um, the next, if you like memoirs, is called The Torn Skirt. Uh, it's fabulous. It's amazing, 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 amazing. Um, like I said, it's a memoir, so um, it's actually a fictional memoir, but it is um, kind of a coming-of-age story um, about a girl who... Um, gets into, you know, prostitution and drugs and all of that. Um, it's really, really good. And then another one, it's actually two, is Flying Changes, and then it has a prequel called Writing Lessons. Um, and I stumbled upon it by accident at, like, this book's tale thing. Um, but they're amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, they're kind of fluff. They're not really too deep or whatever. Um, but this woman had a really bad horse accident when she was 18 and stopped riding. And then her daughter wants to ride, and it's about her fighting with all of that. Um, they're absolutely amazing. Um, and then the last one is a recent find that um, I never really thought about being great before. Um, but it is called Queen of Babel. And it's by Meg Cabot, who did the Princess Diaries books. Um, anyway, it's really good. I just got it and, like, read it in one day. Um, and it's kind of a romance novel, um, but anyone who likes fashion would love it because it has a lot of fashion, like, stuff in it. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much all that's exciting with me. Um, I hope that everyone, you know, subscribes using the little bar that's right over there. Uh -huh. I think it's over there. Maybe. Anyway, um, and... Here's another little challenge. Um, why don't all of you who see this video um, send one of the Seven Secret Lives members uh, a private message on PSC? Um, so just send them a little message. Don't forget I'm A R E Z sixty one seventy one, uh, and I'm sure you know all of the others. But uh, why don't you send them a, a private message um, and just let them know that you know you're watching the videos and that you like Seven Secret Lives. Um, I hope y'all are all having an amazing week, and I will see you next week.